Summer is here, and the last thing you want slowing you down is pain. Our expert in back and neck pain, Dr. Christopher Miller, is joining us today along with one of his patients, Pat. Thank you so much for joining us to both of you. Hey, it's great to be here today, Jordan. Thanks. Yeah. So, Dr. Miller, I'd like to start with you because you are essential, you are open to the public, and you have seen hundreds of patients throughout your days uh, at Total Health Chiropractic. And uh, I think people don't realize how quickly this pain can escalate. So, tell me a little bit about how bad it can really get if someone doesn't come in for neck or back pain. Sure, well, we get a lot of patients that struggle with chronic neck or back pain that's been bothering them for many, many months or even years. And when people aren't struggling with that, you just think, boy, that's tough. You know, it sounds like it hurts. But when you struggle with that chronic type of debilitating pain, it completely controls your life and you're not able to live a life and do the things that you want to do. Uh, that pain can restrict mobility and movements. Sometimes if it's severe enough with the arthritis or spinal stenosis, you can start getting issues down the arms or down the legs. And so a lot of people with these problems just um, never get any type of relief and they're dealing with this constant pain and it limits their ability to do things you know, that we would take for granted. Um, it could be family events, it could be chores around the house, doing things with your friends, um, and then just other things like chores and things that we need to do to maintain an independent life, like laundry or uh, doing the dishes or even cooking meals. Uh, the pain can be so tough, people can't stand any length of time, constantly having to sit down or make accommodations for that pain. Um, so for many of the patients coming to see us, it's much more than just neck or back pain, but it's affecting their ability to function and live a normal life. Yeah, Dr. Miller, you talk about living a normal life. You know, we know that our body is all connected and when you start not being able to do the things that you once were able to do or you're having pain on a day-to-day -day basis, that can affect not only your physical but your mental state as well. So what are some of the common causes that are causing the pain or the limitations for a lot of these patients? Well, to start it, it commonly starts with spinal misalignments in our spine, and if that's neglected over time, that can lead to more of those chronic degenerative conditions of the spine. And so a lot of patients we see are struggling with things like degenerative disc disease, where those discs are drying out and, and thinning down. That can lead to pinched nerves and spinal stenosis. Um, sometimes these discs start bulging or hurting out or they push out into the nerves. That can be very painful as well. Um, and then sometimes, like I said, if it's going in the leg, it could be sciatica, um, pinched nerves. And sometimes patients even gone so far to get neck or back surgery and it didn't work well for them. And uh, our approach is to work on correcting their problem and getting their spines and their discs healthier. So many of those patients were able to help as well uh, get their life back once again. Yeah, Dr. Miller, uh, one of your patients, Pat, is sitting right next to you, and I want the opportunity to talk to Pat in just a moment, but she is one of the people that tried other things, and a lot of your patients that we've spoken to, they've tried so many other common, we'd like to say kind of mistakes, uh, that are masking the problem. So can you talk a little bit about those and, and why they aren't getting to the root of the problem? Sure, and I can let Pat speak in a moment about what she tried, but a lot of the common medical approaches are going to start with drugs or medication. You know, there's all kinds of things out there from muscle relaxants to painkillers, anti-inflammatories, even nerve drugs. Um, sometimes if that's not working, patients will start doing physical therapy. They're not many times getting to the root of the problem. They're just working on the surrounding areas, and that can be very limiting with the results. But when they take a step further, a lot of patients then are sent to pain clinics where they actually get shots in their neck or back. Uh, a lot of times it's cortisone, which is an anti-inflammatory steroid with some particularly nasty side effects like osteoporosis, uh, blood sugar problems, and maybe diabetes. And, uh, you know, worst case scenario would be back or neck surgery. But, you know, a lot of these um, treatments really aren't fixing the cause of the pain, they're masking the symptoms, and they all have, uh, you know, to some degree, negative side effects that need to be considered as well. You know, some of them, could, the side effects could be as bad as uh, paralysis or even death. 
Yeah, so Pat, I, I'd like to bring you into the conversation because you have had a long journey with uh, dealing with a lot of pain. So can you tell me a little bit about what your pain symptoms were like and how it was debilitating before coming to see Dr. Miller? Sure. I had back pain for a lot of years. In the last few years, it kept getting worse and it went to numbness in my feet and burning in my feet. And if I was tired all the time, I was depressed. I, I was miserable. I couldn't do simple household chores. I couldn't do things with my grandsons I wanted to do because I was in constant pain. I didn't, I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life in pain. Yeah, and so we're seeing x-rays right now of how this actually physically hurt your body, uh, your neck and your lower back. So you saw Dr. Miller on 8 West and you decided to do what? I decided to call him. <laughs> he was describing exactly how I was feeling. Yeah. And I thought, maybe, maybe there's hope. So I called him and I'm glad I did. And you're glad you did. How has yeah. life been since seeing Dr. Miller and since uh, working with the DRX machine? Oh my gosh, it's been great. I got some relief the first day. The second day I was able to go home and, and do household chores that I haven't been able to do in a long time. And I'm in my fourth week now and I feel great. I feel like a different person. I'm happy, I, I'm not in pain. I can enjoy things again. Yeah, Pat, we are so happy for you to be able to have the quality of life that you've been wanting to, especially now that it's turning to be summertime. You're going to be able to get out there and do a lot of the things that you have been wanting to do. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So Dr. Miller, I mean, is this typical of patients who are utilizing the DRX machine? Well, it is, and a big reason why is that we sort of screen our candidates as they come in. We always start with a consultation where I meet with them one-on-one -on -one and talk about what they've been through, if anything has helped or not helped, and how you know, treatments they've tried have worked. But our main goal with that first visit is to start working towards a diagnosis so we know exactly what condition their spine is in and what's causing that chronic pain. And then if it's something that our, our decompression programs can help and I pick them and select them as a candidate, you know, I offer them this program. Um, there is a start and finish to these programs, um, but you know, it's all designed to help heal and regenerate these injured discs so that patients can, you know, by fixing those discs and getting their spine healthier, they're able to go live a normal life once again. And you know, those x-rays that you showed, um, we did a, an examination on Pat with her back and her legs and her feet. We took a couple of those x-rays and I hope your viewers could see those green arrows showed thicker discs a little higher up in her back, but the lower two discs with the red arrows were very degenerated and thinned down and that created stenosis or pinching of those nerves. And ultimately that's why Pat was having the pain in her back and her feet. Yeah, Dr. Miller, there are other people out there experiencing what Pat or something similar like Pat has experienced and you have a new uh, patient special for those people. We do, you know, we really don't want them to give up hope. You know, even Pat said she thought she may have to spend the rest of her life this way. Please don't give up, uh, look for solutions. And if they want to call our office today, uh, we do accept insurances, but they can schedule a $49 consultation and an examination so we can get to the root of their problems and, you know, make sure that we know what's wrong and see if they're a candidate for this treatment as well. Yeah, and if people are out there and they just want to simply learn more, you have a webinar where people can get involved. We do, so it's gonna be Tuesday, June 16th at 5 p.m. Um, you can register online at thcairo.com or just call our office with a number below. And uh, it's gonna be about a 30 to 40 minute webinar. So you can just watch this from the convenience of their home. I'm gonna talk a lot about spinal stenosis, arthritis, the other common conditions I mentioned like degenerative disc disease and bulging or herniated discs. And then we're gonna talk about treatment options and pros and cons of each. And I'll spend a bit of extra time talking about true non-surgical spinal decompression so they can see if this might be something that could help them as well. And just do that from the comfort of their own home. Yeah, Dr. Miller, as always, thank you so much for the great information. And Pat, congratulations. I hope you enjoy your summer. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. Take care and be safe. Thank you, you as well.